hi guys i hope everyone is doing fine i'm doing fine too um today i'll be doing a little tutorial in how to do a half up and half down pony so before i do my hairstyle i always make sure the hair is clean and washed so that will allow you to slay and do that pony really nice and make sure when you wash your hair you don't put no product before you blow dry it just make sure you have a no product on so when i'll be doing or whoever be doing your hair uh, applying the gel or whatever product they use it does not go white so right now i'm trying to section the hair into two so the top b i'll be doing the pony and the bottom b this is where i'll be doing um, the cambles and I'll be applying the weave so before I apply my weave I always need to make sure in between the top and the back the bottom I leave a tiny hair out so that will allow me to cover um, the weave that I'll be that I'll be staying at the back so when you're leaving your hair out make sure you don't leave too much and you don't want to leave too little you want to make sure you're leaving the right amount so i've left my my hair out as you as you guys can see um it's not too much it's not too li it's not too little and then it's not a lot so it's just right so you want to make sure it's the right amount so when you finish weaving your hair will be able to cover the hair at the back you don't want to leave too tiny and then you then then while you're walking on the road people are able to see your weave nah if we don't do this no here no no way <laughs> so yeah so you gotta make sure you leave the right amount and then you plait it when you plait it it just stays out your way so yeah so here I'm trying to do my cam rolls, you know, this is me again, Juicy Jules, moving like a Speedy Gonzalez. So yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to do my cam rolls. This is how I do my cam rolls. Obviously, we all go our techniques on how to do our cam rolls. So this is my techniques and this is how I do it. I actually find it really easy doing it this way some people do it round some people do it all straight but i always need to make sure there is the two bits at the back now it's done and i'm ready to weave it ready to go yes baby girl ready to go so before i actually go ahead and weave my hair at the back I always do my pony first this is to allow the hair to dry on top because I'm using the um, I'm gonna use the the Nixon gel so I just want to make sure before I weave my hair at the back I do my pony first and by the time I'm done with my weave my pony is dried but obviously when I do my pony I always dry it so i'm using the whole comb because i find it very very useful before i um, i do my pony it just helps the head to sleek into places and it, look, it just looks nicer you know and the baby hair ooh, love it so right now i'm trying to leave the baby hair out obviously some people don't like baby hair some people do like baby hairs but when you're doing your when you're doing your lever for your baby hair make sure you don't leave too much and you don't leave too little just leave the right amount and always before you do your baby hair ask the person that you're doing that you you you're doing it for how much hair or how they like the baby hair to be you don't want to do your baby hair according to you how you want it but you want to make them feel good and comfortable so i just make sure i asked my lady and she told me how she wanted it and yeah 
so right now i'm applying the gel so today i'll be i'm actually using the nixon gel the reason why i'm using the nixon gel is because it's actually i don't know for other people but on my own opinion it's actually one of the best gel and especially if you if you want to go for three weeks with your hairstyle it will help you last longer so when i'm applying the gel i don't apply it too much you know i just apply a little bit and that actually allows me to style the ponytail and yeah nixon gel is really good i actually have a good reviews concerning the nixon gel it actually helps the hair to grow too so yep so i have applied the amount that I needed for the pony now I'm trying to slick that pony and when I'm doing my pony I don't know I'm just weird like I'm weird I'll do my pony and I'll take it out I find it easier to slick it back on like I'll take it out and I'll do it again you know some people don't do it like that but you know as I said before we all different everyone got their own technique in how they do the ponytails or how they weave it or how they do the curls but I find it easier when I apply the gel and I'll take it out again the hairband and I, and I will apply it again so yeah so as you guys can see my hair is sleek looking on fleek and now I'm trying to do the baby hair you know some people use the brush some people use deep brush but I I just like using the comb I find it really easy the most important is the fact that it gives the same result you can use whatever you want but if you know what you're doing you get the same result so this is it the same result you know I'm making sure that it is sleek and nice you know trying to make the baby girl look pretty so yeah as you guys can see I've done it one side and I'm gonna go for the next side and yeah this is how I do it I do my baby hair just like that baby just like that it doesn't take long it's very quick but you gotta make sure it's sleek as you can see again baby girl looking on fleek yes girl you're ready oh i'm loving this hair i'm loving the pony it's giving it's giving me life it's giving me vibes you know is is nice as i said i just love the nixon gel it is just nice you know some people like the echo gel people use different different gel but i just i'm a fan of nixon so yeah when i finish doing my pony i make sure my pony is dried you know and nixon doesn't take long to dry nixon dries so quick so Just making sure the hair is dried and sleek. Yes, baby girl. I can see, I can see, I can see her. I can see she's happy. I can see she's enjoying the hair. And this is what I like, you know. When you're doing someone's hair, you got to make sure you do it with your own hair. you got to make sure you're doing it because you like doing hair. Don't do it for the money. But make sure you do it because you enjoy doing what you do, you know. I do what I do what I do this so right now I'm doing the weave playing my weave at the back you know as I said before everyone weave different I always find the best and easy way of applying my weave you know some people will will put the they'll stick the needle and then go round 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 
but I just go once and then yeah this is it but yeah she's doing the I'm applying the curl the, the um the loose curls or deep curls I forgot but yeah I just know the weave is nice and this is it This is how I weave it, this is how I do it, you know, make sure when you're doing your sides, you don't leave gaps, you know, when I weave my hair, I make sure I don't leave, I don't leave no gaps or space, I want to make sure it's, everything's covered at the back. So, I'm done with the weaving, as you can see. I did not leave no space. Everything is covered and look no fleek. I'm sorry guys. I wasn't able to show you how I did the top B. But yeah. Baby girl. Look no fleek. So this is it guys. This is it. This is the result. The girl. My baby girl. She look nice. Ooh. Move that girl. Baby girl. Move that hair it's looking amazing i love it guys um i hope you guys love it too please don't forget to follow me and subscribe to my channel for more videos and thank you